On the far western shores of Italy lives a noble king named Walter. He is young, handsome, strong, gracious, intelligent, and truly awesome. He loves his freedom and has always refused any offer of marriage due to the fact that he doesn't want to be bound down. However, all his subjects agree that there must be an heir to the throne, so a delegation of lords creates a petition to have Walter seek a wife, of which he agrees. The wedding day is set, and Walter literally waits until the day of his wedding to find a wife. He remembered there being a beautiful young girl named Griselda that lived nearby, so Walter quickly made his way to her home. He asked her father, Janicula, for permission to marry his daughter, to which he agreed. Just before the wedding, Walter makes one condition with Griselda, which is that she would promise to obey his will and do so cheerfully, even if it causes her pain. She agrees, and they are married. I now pronounce you man and wife. Soon after the wedding, Griselda has a daughter, Nosratnold. While the daughter is still an infant, Walter decides to put his wife's loyalty to the test. He tells his wife that one of his courtiers will come for the baby, and he hopes that this would not change the love she has for him. Griselda tells him it will not change anything. The man arrives and takes the child. Four years later, Griselda has another child, this one being a boy, and again, Walter decides to test his wife's loyalty and has a courtier come and take the baby boy. She again accepts her husband's decision and shows no opposition. Once Walter and Griselda's daughter turns 12 and their son 7, Walter decides to give his wife one last test. He has a bill forged declaring that he is free from Griselda and can marry any other woman. Then Walter orders his sister, of who the children were placed, to bring his children home. Walter tells Griselda of the bill, and though she receives this news with great sadness, she accepts the news and returns to her father. Griselda helps prepare the wedding that her children are attending, and though she cannot recognize them, Walter cannot stand the foul cruelty he has put his poor wife through and decides to confess to his wife. Walter tells Griselda that he had put her through multiple tests of loyalty, to which she met perfectly. He tells her that the beautiful young girl and the handsome young boy were their children, and he is not remarrying. The family lives happily ever after. On the far west of the of Italy, oh, crap. <laughs> you said it was not made it. He asked her father, Janicula, for permission to marry his daughter, to which he agreed. And now you may kiss the bride. <laughs> <laughs> he loves his freedom and has always refused any offer at marriage no, wait, due to the fact. <laughs>